Okay. Hmm. Uh, this is Christian in the man cave. Man cave number one. And uh, as you probably know about me, who left that on? As you probably know, uh, I like to tinker with tube stuff, right? Um, here's some of my junk behind me, some old tube amps and things. And if you haven't already noticed, most of my stuff is salvaged or used or otherwise really, really cheap. Because there's kind of two sides to the tube amp world. There's the really expensive vintage audio fools who uh, waste a hundred bucks on a cable that has a frozen aligned molecules. And I think anybody who is an actual electrical engineer will tell you that that's a bunch of crap. There are some truths here and there to the some things, but like that kind of stuff, they're just ripping you off. I like tubes because I find old electronics interesting and I like the way they sound. Whether it's better or not, I don't know, I don't care. I like it. So don't waste your time trying to tell me how much easier and simple and better uh, uh, compact integrated circuits are. I have those. I use those to test. Um, I use this tiny little thing right there. That's an That's a 15 watt amp right there that I got for three bucks on eBay. I use that to test speakers. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. I wanted to just to show you a, a few examples of cheap building materials for amps. You know, people say, Oh, I can't, you know, I, I don't have 50 bucks for a chassis, or, you know, 100 bucks for a speaker or transformer, whatever. You can find this stuff. If you have patience and good scrounging ability, you can, it's not that hard to find. Uh, let me show you some examples. Now, before I go on, just keep in mind, you do need to know something about electronics, and you have to be safe, okay? Uh, tube electronics uses really high voltages, uh, high-powered electronics that can kill you. So you have to learn about this stuff first. Take a, a, a class, get a teacher, uh, but, you know, I'm warning you, it can kill you. So if you mess with tube electronics and you get hurt or killed or somebody else does as a result of that, it's your fault, not mine. I don't live in America anyway, so I don't care. Um, but let me show you some examples. Okay, now for like a stereo chassis, if you're going to build your typical stereo amp, right, you can actually use... And I know it's a little scary looking. Here's a big one, though. This is a this is a uh, cake pan. Okay, you can find these cheap pressed and folded plate cake pans. You know, this one was under two dollars. I mean, okay, one fifth, one euro fifty, and it's perfect. It's actually thin enough that you can cut it with tin snips or a drill. You know, and uh, so you can have your your resistor, your rheostats coming out, your tubes and stuff coming out. It's firm enough to hold them, but it's thin enough to where you can actually cut through it as well without any big special tools or anything like that. And uh, if you find you just need something good to go underneath it, I actually used a piece of uh, laminated board. Um, there's, or you can use plastic, you know, artificial, quote unquote, artificial wooden surfaces and, and you know, start your amp that way. Just flip it over and bug wire all your components in there and boom, you've got an amp. Takes a while to get it neat and do it right. Um, now this is, this thing actually I could use uh, on the back of one of my amps if I wanted to. I got this off a uh, basket of fruit, one of those little fruit boxes. Just went behind the grocery store, asked them if I could take it and after a pair of pliers I got all this and I can I use that for the back of speakers and amps that's free and now here's a box um, you can get these tool boxes here's a smaller example I made an amp out of this It's kinda ugly in the front but that's because I could have made the front look better um, but uh, and I made this power supply out of one as well it's it's laminated inside but anyway you can get these wooden storage box things or tool box things at Home Depot or Baumax, wherever you are in the world. Usually these are anywhere from two dollars or euros to maybe up to five, maybe a little more, depending how big they are and if it's on sale or not. 
This one, it would be nice if I told you how big it was, but it's a little bigger than a champ amp, I'd say. Let me just, sorry, I'm unprepared. Okay, that one is 40 centimeters. Sorry, 40 centimeters. There's already a speaker in there, which I got also for free. Um, and uh, you can buy one of these boxes for no more than $5. Okay, and what I did was I just cut out the, this little section out of the top there. You can use a jigsaw for that, or if you have a Dremel, you can use that. And then check this out. I, I took a bread pan, which you can also use bread pans for like single-ended amps, right? You can make a little single-ended amp out of that. Or check it out for a champ-style amp. You cut that out, and that fits right in there. Kaboom! Now the wood is getting in the way, but if that's not in the way, just bear with me. You put that there, and you have a total champ chassis. Okay, your speak you've got enough room for your speaker and everything else. If this is too big, you can actually trim that. Um, but it's actually perfect. I'm going to do that. You'll put your controls right here, right? Screw it in. This ridge on top holds it in firmly, and then you just need a back, back for the top half. Boom, you're in business. You can buy these cheap little brass handles like that one to go on the top, little rubber legs or sticker things for the bottom, and you're good to go. Um, what else? Oh, you can use junction boxes. I've used plastic junction boxes like they have here in Europe, uh, which you can see this compactron tube mounted on. Or, um, I prefer the ones they sell in the, sell in the States, these kind of galvanized ones. Uh, they're really sturdy and really easy to work with, and you can easily get a, a few tubes in there depending which way you want to stick them. Um, and of course, they're easier to ground and everything else. You can, you, you know, you can put those in there or however you want it. There's many applications if you're creative. Um, and as far as active components, really quickly, I can show you a whole box of used active components. These are all pulled. Okay, these are all transformers pulled off of uh, mostly radios. Okay, uh, receivers, radios, maybe some old amps that I either got on eBay or the flea market here in Bratislava. Never for more than a five euros at the most. You know, and these are either audio output, right, for tubes, not for, you know, uh, solid state circuits, and power transformers. And I pulled most of those. I pulled most of those off of tape recorders and receivers that I got that were not working at the flea market and bargained out. If they didn't want to bargain, fine. I'm not in a hurry. I come back later. I get them for almost nothing. And very often it comes with a good speaker. Now these are these speakers are free because I get all my TV speakers for free. And some of them are amazing, especially these old Tesla speakers that were made on tube TVs to handle tubes and all levels of sound. Um, I have a huge, I wish it was unwrapped. This is an amazing speaker, but unfortunately you can't see it. These are huge speakers that come from really awesome old radios, and believe me, you cannot imagine how good they sound. Um, here's one. You can actually see some of it. Let me pull that one out. Um, I mean, some of these are just amazing. Let's see. Here's one that you can at least get a somewhat of a look at. Okay. Well, you can see the back of it. I mean, this is a beast. That's at least a foot across. It's really deep. That's what I should have hooked that compactron amp to. Maybe I will. Um, this one is not far from it. And these, I mean, again, I got these for almost free. I usually get them for, in an entire radio that the rest of it is totally falling apart. I look at it. I don't let them know. Most of the people that sell them don't know what they've got. You know, It's an old rusted up radio with all the knobs falling out. But if you look and make sure that there's no uh, water damage you know, to the speakers or anything. Here's one. I don't prefer these kind of speakers, these older ones. Uh, well, the ones that have these little rusty middles. I'm not sure what they're made of, but the coils tend to stick. Um, so you got to get to know what you've got around. But I mean, here's just one example of a speaker I pulled out of uh, something sitting next to the dumpster, you know. So you can find speakers, you can find transformers, especially transformers, because 
they're usually the most expensive part of an amplifier. Okay, um, if you have time and patience and a little creativity, you can scrounge this kind of stuff up. So again, you know, uh, wooden boxes that you find at hardware stores for like uh, small guitar amps, baking dishes, um, even the back of uh, you know these little fruit boxes that you get at the grocery store. And I mean, you know, little things they pile oranges in. They're usually made of cardboard, but sometimes you can find these uh, particle board ones. So that ran about three times as long as I wanted it to. But I hope you got some uh, good information from that. Learn what you can um, from what YouTube or um, there's a lot of free stuff out there. There's uh, books from the Navy, old uh, U.S. Navy books. Actually, I think I have one here. Yeah, here's one that I actually downloaded for free off the Uf Na U.S. Navy's website. It's public domain. Anybody can download it. And uh, you can if you can just read it off your computer, or you can take it to Kinko's or another printer and have them print it up for free. Uh, this one is really good. It's the Navy and Electricity Electronics Training Series. There's all kinds of stuff to learn, but Module Six is about uh, vacuum tubes and power supplies. So just this one book, which I only had to pay for the printing of, and here at a printer I think I got it for about four euros, right? Uh, really cheap, simple, direct information about tubes and how they work. You can also download uh, old copies of Popular Electronics. Um, if I have that one here, there's another one that actually, is this it? Nope, that's the Navy one. Anyway, um, I will try and put out more of that information as I get it. I'm sorry if this ran too long. I really just wanted to share you some basic stuff so maybe you can get going, get involved. You don't have to know everything about electronics. You don't have to know everything about math to get involved with tubes and tube amps and electronics. It can be cheap. It can be fun. Just make sure you make it safe. This is Christian in the Man Cave. Happy New Year.